now our quest into what is slope takes us into calculating the slope. We're going to look at several lines. In this case, they're all going to be increasing lines, so they're all going to have positive slope. The first thing you should do before you calculate slope is look at the line and decide whether it's increasing or decreasing. So you know whether your answer has to be a positive number if it's increasing or a negative number if the line is decreasing. First check that. Okay, now let's calculate the slope of this teal line. So, remember slope is the vertical change over the horizontal change. Well, we mathematicians don't like to write vertical change and horizontal change a hundred zillion times. So we substitute delta y for vertical change and delta x for horizontal change. So delta is the words change in. So delta y is change in y. Delta x means change in x. Okay, so let's pick two points on the grid here. We pick the point 2, 6, and we're going to pick this grid point up here, 4, 12. So, now let's form our right triangle here, and we're going from this point to this point. You always decide which is your first point and your second point. It doesn't matter which is which, but you have to decide which is the first point and which is the second point. So you always do the subtraction in the same order. How much is delta y? Well, the y coordinate here is 12, and the y coordinate here is 6. So delta y is 12 minus 6 equal to 6. The change in the y is the y coordinate of the second point minus the y coordinate of the first point. So let's do delta x. We need the x coordinate of the second point. How much is that? 4 minus the x coordinate of the first point. How much is that? 2. So delta x is going to be 4 minus 2 equals 2. So now let's calculate the slope of teal line. So the slope of teal line is the change in y over the change in x. So we're going to substitute 6 for delta y and 2 for delta x. So we have 6 over 2 equals 3. So the slope of teal line is 3. Okay, now let's look at another line, yellow line. Now, yellow line is increasing. It's going up from left to right, so its slope will be positive. But it's not increasing as fast as teal line. The teal line had a slope of 3, so this must have a positive slope, but less than 3. Let's pick a couple of points on the grid here. There's one point at 4, 7, and another point at 8, 11. Remember, it should always give the same result no matter what points you pick. Let's form our right triangle. There it is. And now we're looking at the change in the y. So the y coordinate here is 11, and the y coordinate here is 7. So 11 minus 7 equals 4. So the change in y is 4. Delta y equals 4. The change in x x coordinate here is 8. The x coordinate on this point, remember always do the subtraction in the same order, that's crucial, is 4. So we have 8 minus 4, 4. So what is the slope of yellow line? Well, the slope of yellow line is delta y over delta x. Delta y is 4, delta x is 4, so the slope is 1. And now our last line is this purple line. Again, it's increasing. It's going up from left to right, so it'll be positive. But this slope was 1, so this slope is going to have to be smaller than 1, but a positive number. So let's pick a couple of points, and let's work from right to left this time instead of from left to right. So we're going to pick that point over there at the right, and now we're going to pick a point a little bit to the left. Okay, so our direction is from this point down to this point. So our subtraction goes in this direction. 
So what is the change in y? Well, here y is 5, and here y is 6. So we have 5 minus 6, or minus 1. And for delta x, we start at, again at the second point, 9 minus 12, we should get minus 3. So now, substitute that into our formula here. We have the slope of purple line is the change in y over the change in x. The change in y is minus 1. Change in x is minus 3. The minuses cancel, and we're left with 1 third. 1 third is a positive fraction, less than 1, which was less than 3. So we calculated the slope of these three lines. The slope of teal line was 3, the slope of yellow line was 1, and the slope of purple line was 1 third.